me? Yes, we can hear you. Round of applause. Welcome in. Yes. I'm um, not stupid. Yay. You got this. Now you saw it sounds fucking incredible. It's not me. Okay. It's you. Um, Dino G, <laughs> I don't know why. I feel like I've heard of you before. Um, and I feel like people have put some respect on your name. You look familiar. Um, Thank you so much. Um, chat. I was talking to Dino G. Um, chat. Do you... <laughs> If put it in the chat if this is your first time um, seeing the Bad Blando Love Line stream. Um, I don't know how many people are like just seeing this for the first time. I do this one while. Oh, a lot of fucking ones. Dude, it, it's really, really cool to to be in this position where it's fucking three years into streaming and I'm bringing back an original concept and there's so many. Monday left me broken Tuesday. I was through. You know, it's fucking rude when I'm trying to talk and, like, say something sweet and you fucking play that horse shit. Um, PD Pie says, what do you do normally? Normally, I'm a Fortnite streamer. Um, no, I don't know. Normally, we don't have a normal here. It's just we shoot the shit. We watch scary stuff. We do some call-ins. We IRL. We travel. We do subathons. Um, Redbox, you're a fucking prick. Welcome in. This is my first time, Tony Boy. Supportive, he says, probably my fifth stream. Well, thanks for being a supportive. Uh, thank you. <laughs> Bryce gifting a sub to Gracie. Inside, Bryce gifted 12 months of tier one to Gracie 406. Dude, Bryce gifted a year worth of subs to Gracie. Holy shit. God damn. Dude, thank you, Bryce. Mod on. Gracie is an OG. She absolutely is. Um, Bryce, thank you, man. Thank you for the year of gifting. That's a You're here for another year, which honestly is more of a punishment than a reward because it's crazy. Um, just kidding. I love you. All right. Um, Flying Veda, welcome in. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so you guys can hear me okay this time, right? Yeah, it sounds fucking awesome. Okay, so my story is actually related to Suspicious Ravioli's story. Uh, this is a story about cheating, revenge, and unexpected friendships. Oh, I, so, thought, I thought for a second you were going to be like, yeah. yeah, I fucked him, and she's the one I'm fucking now. I thought you were the other half of the fuck puzzle. Okay. You just that mean, would be amazing, but no. <laughs> okay, you just mean it's similar to their story. Okay, I'm all ears. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So early 2000s, um, I used to go to nightclubs all the time and me Same. and my girlfriends would dress up. We'd get in for free. We'd get VIP for free. Same. Back then I had really hair. So there was this other girl that I would see at the clubs all the time. She had blonde hair and I started dating this guy. I thought he was extremely cool. He's a VJ. You know, he did like the the lights and like the screens and sure. the audio stuff, but he wasn't the DJ. He was basically like the blonde Polly D. He also worked on a lot of cars, like, and I was just allowed to drive crazy sports cars all the time. And I thought I had the best boyfriend in the world. Okay. Okay. So he's a VJ, his name. That's what he goes by. It's with this other girl that used to go to the nightclubs all the time. And we figure it out that we're dating the same guy. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. So uh, wait, we decide. Wait, hold on. A part of that cut out. Can you start? Can you start oh. over? You got cut out. Sorry. Okay. Okay. So I used to go to uh, nightclubs all the time. And uh, back during that time, I had like dark hair. I knew this girl who had blonde hair and she would go to all the clubs too. I started dating this VJ who was basically like the blonde Polly D. Okay. He would do the lights and the screens and the audio stuff. He wasn't the DJ though, but he was a really cool guy. He would also do auto body on sports cars. And he always had me driving like a brand new sports car. And I just thought I was on top of the world, right? Yeah. So I became friends with this blonde girl and I realized we were dating the same guy, okay? Ooh. So at first we were a little salty with each other, you know, we did the girl thing, but then what we decided to do was we decided to team up and ambush him and just really make him sweat a little bit. So we decided to make plans with him on the same day. Okay. So my plans were during the morning and her plans were at night. And oh. then we started to stress him out. We both texted all of these reschedules 
free schedules of times, free schedules of places, until it got to the point where the plans were very close together, and it was going to be really hard for him to pull this off, wow. like, and wow. lie to both of us, right? We were just stressing him out so bad, okay? You're like, so okay, then, so I can only hang out at, like, three, and then the other girl's like, so it's looking like we need to do a little bit closer to three, and this guy's like, shit! Okay. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly. So I did that, and then I canceled, okay? So then she keeps her plans, and we walk into the bar restaurant together. <laughs> and the look on his face was just absolutely priceless. Like, oh, my God. At first, it was like a look of panic. And then it was like, what could he do, you know, except for, like, apologize and laugh? And what he said, like, he said, I'm just a squirrel. And what he meant was, I'm just a squirrel trying to get a nut. So we, we just told him off and we just... We I'm, a, I'm a, and, a squirrel. Yeah, he, he totally was a douchebag about it. And um, so we really taught him a lesson. Um, because actually, after that whole scenario, he started dating the girl exclusively that he's married to today with kids. And she and I are still friends and Whoa. everything kind of blew over. And I'm pretty sure that if I called them all up today, we could all have dinner about it and laugh about it. That's kind of a nice ending to a sickening, evil, plotted storyline. Um, yeah. Which I'm a fan of, by the way. I'm not against what you did at all. I think that's fucking hilarious. Um, round of applause for uh, the ending to a fucking story. That is pretty, it's actually a nice ending. Um, <laughs> unexpected ending too do we think that this is evil or funny what her and her friend did I think it's fucking hilarious uh, but I think you might get some some people that back there like that's fucked up um, <laughs> both funny and he earned that it's fucking you know what it's karma dude listen as mm -hmm. much as I like to be a guy that fucks around single that likes to have just casual fun or whatever at the end of the day if you're in that spot where you're like talking to multiple women at once I would never be the guy to date two women at once that's just sickening in my opinion but if you're gonna actually go forward and date two people at the same time then you bet your ass you got some karma coming for you you're willing to fuck them over so why can't they team up and fuck you over um, and the fact that through this he actually kind of got his cake and ate, ate it too uh he got lucky there he got fucking lucky for sure he really did yeah and you know people still talk about it to this day like people that know us are like yeah remember when them two walked in together and they busted him and just Damn. stressing him out like that gave us both such pleasure because he like totally lied to us for months got away with it there was a time where which i